Hey everyone, so you followed one of my other tutorials on how to get yourself a Minecraft server. In this case, I'm showcasing the Cobbleverse server that I set up the other day. As you can see, I've got the server running, here's the server files, I'm in the server, it works just fine. If I disconnect, it shows it localhost. Now, you can see here it says playit.gg server, I'm going to delete that real quick so that we don't have it because we're gonna set one up because this one is set up to be on localhost as you can see localhost. Now, localhost means only I can play on it from my PC or if I have people in the same internet network at my house, they could also join my local hosted server because it's a game on a local network. But we want our friends across the country, across the globe to be able to join our game. So there's a couple of things we'll need to do. First. Let's stop this server so that it's not taking up any of our resources, like RAM, CPU, and all that. We don't need to do anything with the files, so we can leave them as is. What we do is we go onto our websites, and we go to playit.gg. This link will be in the description for all of you. And on this website, you will be able to see that it says, Want to run an online game server? Forget hosting providers. Use your own computer for free. This just means that because we're able to host games off of our own PC, like I showed you earlier, where we can local host it, we can use this program to, instead of port forwarding, which not a lot of people can do when they just get into server hosting, and learning port forwarding isn't difficult, but it does require you to be your own homeowner, kind of. Um, you will need to, for port forwarding, you would need to not only be able to go into your modem, which I can technically, like you go into 192.168.1.1, you got to log in here. Now I could show you all how to do this, but this is a Dutch modem from a Dutch internet provider. This will not line up with the uh, internet providers of the US. It will not line up with other internet providers in Germany, maybe even. It, that's the issue with port forwarding. Every modem while the technical aspect is the same, the user interface and how to exactly get to the points where you need to be will be different. Therefore, I don't feel like I should make tutorials on that because I don't have all the devices available to me to make tutorials for every single device. Therefore, I will make a tutorial on how to use playit.gg's program, which allows you to tunnel instead of port forwarding. Now, what we do is we just Download this, we take the Windows installer, and we run it. We install it just fine. Install. While that is installing, it'll ask like permission to install properly. It's already done. See how fast that was? It took like 20 seconds. Just to explain, if you're on Linux or Mac OS, you can also use those installer, th that stuff. If you're running a vanilla Minecraft server, or, well, a paper or a bucket or a spigot server, which Cobbleverse is a fabric server, so we can't use the Minecraft plugin. That's why we're using the Windows installer. Um, now, we'll just minimize that real quick. As you can see, player.g created a folder, and this is the server we have. We don't have to put this in here or anything. We just double-click it. Now, it's going to see if there's a secret key, it will blah, 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 blah. Visit this link to set up. Now, we can select that by selecting it with our mouse, and then instead of control C, which is gonna turn this program off, we press enter once. Now we've copied it, we go back, no, not in the folder, my bad. We go back into our playit.gg website and we just open a new website, paste that link in, it's gonna claim this. So as you can see right here, this just got claimed, program approved, seeker code, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's creating a tunnel. See, it says zero tunnels registered. Add a tunnel, and then it gives you a login thing. Now, we've got to take this login code, same way. We select it, press enter, go in here, paste it. We continue as a guest. You can make your own account if you'd like. That's an issue. I'm going to have to blur that. <laughs> I did not realize it was going to show my IP. All right. So we go to tunnels, tunnel type, Minecraft Java, enable the tunnel, and we could just add this. Now with region, global, anycast, otherwise you're gonna take premium of player.gg. You can if you'd like. It doesn't 
change much in my opinion. It'll just improve ping potentially. Once you've created the tunnel, wait for a bit for it to get approved. It doesn't take too long. And while that is approving, as you can see from agent, this is my computer. I can rename that to my PC and everything if I'd like. I don't have to. Now, as you can see, it got approved. It gave us a IP address with a port as well as a domain name. Now we can already see that we are connecting to a London data center, which is giving us the IP. What we now need to do is go into our Carbonverse server folder, start our server back up. And while that is starting, we can minimize this player.gg right here. We do not want to close it just yet. I don't even think we want to close it while the server's running, I'll be honest. So we go into Minecraft, we open back up the player.gg website thing. We click on this, copy, go into Carbonverse or Minecraft, whichever you're using, add a server. Let's call it play it. Dot gg we add the address that it was given to us and now we wait for the server to run and as you can see it found the server before it was fully operational which is why it's saying one to one by one with red we refresh it once it takes a little bit longer than actually finding the local server but it will find it and then we can join the server through there it might be a little slower for the host if you do it this way because it needs to find a domain and everything. You could share with your friends the actual IP address it shows or the shared IP down here. It's There's a lot of things you can share, um, but they'll work. Now this is being really slow, like unusual slow, the connecting to the server, I'm not sure why. Build to connect, why is it failing to connect? Let's see what happened. This uh, let's rename this to say domain, and then go to the website, and we'll take this IP, right? And we'll add that as the next one. Play it. G it, and then we can take the shared IP down here. Oh, see that it already worked. The IP. Let's see what this one does. Uh. Player.gg shared it. But before we go further on that, we had to take the port, add the port behind it. Let's see. And that one works fine as well. So for some reason, the mini minus controls.gl.joinmc.link, which is our shareable address, although also known as our domain link, isn't really functioning. So there's probably something wrong on their backend. Normally it works just fine, but we can just connect to our server through the direct IP that they give, as well as the shareable IP down here. Joining the world. And then as you can see, Hana joined the game on the server. So it's clear that we joined our own server. And this is how people can join your server through an IP address instead of the local IP. Because right now it says 127.168.196.35. But if I disconnect and go to the local host, it will be 127.0.0.1 because that's the difference between connecting through plate.gg and connecting directly. And then the shared IP should also give us a different IP connection. Uh, it might, it might not actually. No, it gave us the exact same IP as the, uh, the direct IP. But as you can see, the server works. You can play. Ping is pretty decent given that I'm literally connecting from my PC to their network back to my PC. So I'm creating additional lag for myself by doing it this way. So if you're hosting, I would recommend just join through local host. Oh, the domain works as well now. See that? It was just, it was just having a slight bit of a hiccup probably. So as you can see, there's three different IP connections that you can use. See that the domain is a little slower. So it probably... Direct IP is probably better. Um, yeah, I would recommend using the direct IP. So this one, not the uh, domain. But yeah, as you can see, my server spot is a bit awful with only one tree and stuff, but it's fine. 
as you can see, that's how you use playit.gg. Now, this is just for Minecraft Java. It's the very easy setup. If you want to do other games, you can just add a different tunnel. You can add Bedrock, Minecraft, Felheim, Terraria, Starbound, or Unturned. They all have straight up ready for you to click. If none of those are what you'd want, then you got to look into which port exactly is for your game. Now, for Minecraft Java, as you can see from the um, right here, you can tell that it is currently set to Minecraft Java, Minecraft Java, and all that. This means that it already knows ahead of time that it needs to do the 25565 port and we're doing it off of a local address. Now, if you're using a container or anything else, you got to change a couple of things in here, which I'm not too familiar with because I usually don't use virtual machines to host servers because I'm usually only hosting one server at a time or I'm port forwarding because I do know how to do that uh, with my own setup. Now, this page we can close. This page we can close. This page, I we could close it well because we already have like the IP, right? We can leave this open and this open and the server is going to stay running. And then every time we give our friends the IP address or the shared IP, or you can just give them both. Give them all three. Make them do the same thing. Domain, play it, .gg IP and the shared IP. The first one that pops up for them is probably going to be the best one for them to connect to. As you can see, the IP right now is still pinging. This one's 279 and 262. But I'm at zero MS on my own network. So for me, as the host, I would always play on localhost. My friends would probably try to play on the shared IP. Let's see which one pops up first, 255 to 63. So the domain is fine now as well. Uh, direct IP is also fine. It just took a little longer. As you can see... Just give them all three of those and let them choose which one they want to try and run on. For everyone, it's going to be a slightly bit different which one's going to be the best for them. But this is the easy way of playing with friends without having to actually go through port forwarding. This doesn't require you to know anything other than just installing a program, going to a couple links that you can grab from the program, and you're golden. It's set up that easily. Now I'll show you what happens if you try to control C, like you click with the left mouse button, you select control C, doesn't do anything, but most people will then go, okay, it's saved, but it didn't save because now if we go add server, you can see, oh, it did save. Wait, all right, you can control C, just make sure you don't press it twice because if you press it twice, it closes the thing because that's how console commands work. If you control C, it says terminate batch job, which just kills servers and other things instantly. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you with installing play.gg for, in this case, Minecraft Cobbleverse. And if there's anything else you need to know about hosting servers with play.gg, please do go to the play.gg Discord. They have their own Discord, which is on their website. There's a button right here, and it'll link you to their Discord. They will be able to answer a lot of your questions regarding play.gg as well as server hosting in general as they are very in-depth in that situation. And if there's anything with um, your mod pack that you're playing, they usually also have their own Discord where you can ask for help. If it's a mod pack that I've done a tutorial on, you can always join my Discord server and ask me for questions. Um, if I don't know, I might refer you to the other discords though, because I do know a lot, but I don't know everything on that note, please leave a like, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next video.